the artist uh, Norman Lindsay is so famous as an artist that uh, a lot of people forget that he wrote one of Australia's most uh, popular and charming children's books called The Magic Pudding. And throughout The Magic Pudding is sprinkled all sorts of bits of pieces of fun poetry. And uh, one piece that I really love is a little piece of poetry in the book that explains how Albert the Magic Pudding actually came into being. Ho, the cook of the saucy sausage, was a fellow called curry and rice, a son of a gun, as fat as a ton, with a face as round as a hot cross bun, or a barrel to be precise. One winter's morn, we rounds the horn, a roll and homeward bound. We strikes on the ice, goes down in a trice, and all on board but curry and rice and me and Sam is drowned. For Sam and me and the cook, you see, we climbs on a lump of ice, and there in the sleet we suffered a treat for several months from frozen feet with nothing at all but ice to eat, and ice does not suffice. And Sam and me, we couldn't agree with the cook at any price. We was both as thin as a piece of tin, while that there cook was busting his skin on nothing to eat but ice. Says Sam to me, it's a mystery more deep than words can utter. Whatever we do, here's me and you, us both as thin as Irish stew, while he's as fat as butter. But late one night, we wakes in fright to see by a pale blue flare that cook has got in a phantom pot a big plum duff and a rump steak hot and the guzzling wizard is eating the lot on top of the iceberg bear. Now, uh, there's a verse left out here, said Bill, stopping the song, owing to the difficulty of explaining exactly what happened when me and Sam discovered the deceitful nature of that cook. The next verse of this poem goes as follows. Now, Sam and me can never agree what happened to curry and rice. The whole affair is shrouded in doubt, for the night was dark and the flare went out, and all we heard was a startled shout, though I think myself in the subsequent rout that us being thin and him being stout, in the middle of pushing and shoving about, he uh, must have fell off the ice. <laughs>